Welcome back again. In this lesson, we'll take a really quick look at uh, Terraform to understand how it's built. So first, Terraform is built in the popular programming language Go. Uh, this helps allow Terraform be a very fast and efficient tool for us to use. And then since it's built with this popular language, it's allowed contributors from all over the world to work with this open source project in a familiar language and help continuously improve Terraform. Now recall that Terraform was created by HashiCorp, then made available to the public as open source software. And if you're not familiar with open source software too much, uh, this essentially means that the code that makes up the software has been made available for anyone to look at. Now this public code that makes up Terraform is stored in a GitHub repo under this repository. Now in most cases, open source code is made available for anyone to use and to share that code. However, open source projects can have a variety of license types that define what you can and can't do with that open source code. Uh, sometimes you can't use it for commercial purposes or maybe you can't use parts of that code as part of your own uh, closed sourced applications. Now, if we take a look at the license info in this code repository here, we can see that Terraform is licensed under the Mozilla public license 2.0. Now, I'm certainly no lawyer when it comes to all this stuff, so I suggest carefully reviewing the license information and getting your own legal advice if you plan to use Terraform in any type of business setting. But if we take a quick look at the license details, you can see some of the limitations and conditions of using the open source Terraform code based on its current license. Like many open source projects, volunteers around the world have come together to contribute to the project, uh, adding new features, fixing bugs, and continuously improving the functionality of the tool. In Terraform's case, there's over 1,600 contributors of the project so far, ranging from the HashiCorp team, uh, different businesses, and individual volunteers, all sharing their time and expertise to maintain this Terraform project. Now, if you think you'd ever be interested in becoming a contributor of the Terraform project at some point, uh, there's a number of documentation sources available to help you get started with all that stuff. Uh, I'll include some of those links for more information on how to get involved with the Terraform project in the following lesson document. Um, now, if you're actually watching this on a different platform, I'll include the links in the description below for you to check out. Uh, so that's it for this lesson. Uh, just remember that under the hood, Terraform is a open source project written in Go. And uh, also take a look at the license details so you're aware of them uh, as you start to use Terraform and working with the Terraform codebase. So thanks again for watching and see you in the next lesson.